How's it guys? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are doing fan freaking tastic. Guys, today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to tame the Astrodolphus. The Astrodolphus is the space dolphin of Genesis Part 2. The Astrodolphus is found in this center ring between Rockwell's Garden and the Garden of Eden. You can get you by going through, there's multiple different tunnels. I'll show the coordinates on screen. And that you can go ahead and just get you and then you... This biome is actually really cool. This biome changes on a daily basis, but I'll be covering that in a later video. So get subscribed if you're not subscribed already. Now, the way you want to start by taming these Astrodolphus is I've already set up my trap. But you want to just come here and then they are aggressive. They'll immediately start coming for you. They they won't try to kill you, but they, they'll like play attack you. So, and they can actually end up hurting you if you're not careful. So you want to just sort of lead them to a bridge where you already have your trap set up. I'll show you the trap now and how to make it. But you basically just want to lead them over here to where your trap is. It is a very basic trap that I've come up. This is probably a what, going to be one of the cheaper options. I'm sure there will be people who will come up with a cheaper option. But this option I feel is already cheap enough already. So you want to just get it and lead it over here to your trap. As you can see, I just have two dino gateways here. I'm literally just going to come stand on this side and it's going to, oh, if it doesn't lose aggro, there we go, we'll just get its aggro back and just lead it straight back into this trap. As you can see, it's stuck there in between those two gateways now. So now what I want to do is I want to take another diner gateway and sometimes you can get it with one if you get the snaps right, but I'm just going to be using two for the sake of this. Now you can see the Astrodolphus is perfectly stuck. He cannot escape. So now I can literally just come up to it. I can pet it. And then it will start to want to accept element. You'll just have to pet it a couple times and eventually it's going to ask you for element. You can see it says put one element in my last slot to feed. These things take a lot of element to tame. As you can see this is only a level 20. On one times taming rate one element gave me 6%. And the element gradually increases as you start feeding it more and more. And as you can see it's actually now pretty docile. Like, I am not in any fancy... Oh, there, there we go. See, he attacked me. So that's something you've got to be careful of. And there we go. Now I wanted 3 element. Now we're up to 23%. So yeah, this actually just makes it really easy. And it's extremely cheap. All it took was 4 dino gateways. And obviously all the element that you'll possibly need. But that is... Yeah, that you're going to need regardless. So I, you can see I can just stand here. He can't attack me. I can pet it. I can beat it. And just zero worries in the thing. We are now up to, what is that? One, three, five, nine element. So you can see the price builds up pretty quickly. Overall, these guys are a relatively easy tame. I mean, I will be covering all the other creatures. So make sure to check out the rest of my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, that's pretty much it. In terms of the Astrodolphus Tech Saddle, that is unlocked behind a... Oh, sorry. Uh, space Dolphin? How do I... Where, where's my Dolph? My Dolphus. Astrodolphus Starwing Saddle. Level 120, 140 Black Pearls, 370 Crystal, 55 Element, 2,500 Metal Ingots, and 500 Polymer. And the Astrodolphus Tech Saddle is really cool. As soon as I have this guy tamed up, I'll be sure to show you guys that saddle and there we go the look at that medium, see so it went one three five and then tame dolphin. okay that, that's Some pretty cool so it is a pretty easy to tame Guess as you can see it does tunnel. it does need a saddle to ride so let's quickly go ahead and get up hey don't give me kisses i'm busy over here <laughs> let's go ahead let's get into creative mode get ourselves that astro dolphus tech saddle and we can give it a go we want the dolphus tech saddle and then let's go ahead pop the saddle on here and this thing looks so cool i really do love the look of this creature and then we can just go ahead and pick up our metal dinosaur gateways the reason why i'm using metal is because they can damage stone so that is something to be aware of but other than that you don't have to worry so now with the astro dolphus tech saddle you can see it is basically like a tapijara you can strafe left and right forwards and backwards but then when you give it element, you can basically do like the, the top, the tapijara mode. And you can see you can go straight into a star wing and that is activated with control. 
you can do left click to just do a bite when you're not in starving mode and then control to activate the uh, jet fighter mode and then you can hold shift to boost you can see you get a nice decent movement speed and you can do a space attack which basically just does this aoe stun you can do left click to shoot your missiles if you have grenades you can shoot grenades with right click let's get ourselves some grenades over here there we go get ourselves some nice grenades and you can see we can just use right click to shoot grenades overall this thing is really cool as you can see you can strafe left and right by double tapping left and right you can then also just do a but you, this thing is actually like really powerful i think this is going to be lots of fun to have like um jet fights in the sky with people i think it's going to be, end up being really cool yeah x attack does like this little yawn thingy let's see maybe we can find a creature to deal some see if that deals any damage fortunately i'm not seeing anything now like i was previously getting swarmed by creatures and now when i finally tamed up something to fight back they are not here and you can hold left click to shoot out these plasma missiles which end up doing more damage or just tap in left click to shoot the uh, laser beams there we go so let's check does x do anything so x when you're in the jet fighter mode does a barrel roll well not a barrel roll what's it uh type of um i don't know it's an air maneuverability but yeah you can see we're doing like 67 damage you do not get i have not been able to find a saddle uh not a saddle a one with damage so i don't think you can increase the damage unlike with the tapijara which is really unfortunate but i suppose it is one of those things you can see when you hold in left click to do your plasma bolt it will lock onto its target and you can actually shoot them without facing them directly if you manage to get it right yeah so that's everything you need to know about the astrodolphus if you guys have enjoyed this video do me a favor hit the like button i really would appreciate it and subscribe if you're not subscribed already i have plenty of genesis 2 guides and content coming out and i hope to see you guys there cheers for now guys bye <laughs>